Well, good evening. I'm Rick Dancer. And welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. Well, I teased it on my page today and was telling all you guys we were going to do this. Did this a couple of months ago. It's about catfishing. And um, unfortunately, I happen to be like a poster child for it, I guess. And uh, my picture gets used and um, men and women lose tens of thousands of dollars uh, from people using fake pictures. In fact, it's so bad right now that I'll see a picture on, you know, one of the TikTok or Instagram or something like that. And I never, I don't believe it, <laughs> you know, you know, if it's somebody I'm going, I wonder if that's really them. And there's some things you can do that really are, if you look on someone's page and they don't have a lot of personal pictures or they have personal pictures and then a bunch of pictures of folks in foreign countries, uh, specifically Africa, then that's a real good sign that it's probably not, it's a fake. This is really big in Nigeria for people to do this. Um, there's a whole, and, 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 and I'm not, I had some guy come on and tell me I was being racist. It's like, oh, poor shit. I'm not being racist. The guy came on my page and told me there's a ring in his town in Nigeria. And this is what they do to make a living is they scalp money out of people. They scam them and catfish using other people's pictures. So it does happen. But there's other people, too. And I think that's one of the persons you're going to meet. This is a different guy. There's various stories that they use uh, to try to get money out of them. And um a lot of women end up giving the money um, because they fall in love with this person and it's not even who they think it is. So um, our sponsors tonight are Chris Daniel Family Dentistry, where everyone is welcome. And if you guys are in the mood, well, not if you're in the mood, <laughs> September and October are booking up at the dental clinics because, you know, in the summer, everybody puts it off. So book in August so you can get your dental appointment with Dr. Bratlin and uh, you'll avoid that big rush in September and October. Um, our other sponsors, Compton Family Wines out of Philomath, Oregon. Um, they do regenerative farming and and uh, so everything is reused and they make some of the most expensive, beautiful, great wine. They have an expensive brand. They have a middle brand and a lower brand, something for everybody. And you're going to love them. And our other uh, sponsor tonight is Albert Taylor, uh, Endless Possibilities. They're an organization that um, works with disabled people, people with different abilities, and they have housing. So tonight I have a little excerpt from an interview I did, just a minute long little excerpt from a couple of the folks who live there and they'll just charm your socks off. But we're gonna get right to our topic now tonight and bring our guests on, so. It's Heather, and this is her mother, Kathy. Hi. And let me get this out of here. Hi, hi, ladies. Thank you for being here. Thank you for first for being brave enough to do this because, um, you know, there's a lot of stigma that goes along with someone who, you know, any of us that we get caught up in a scheme. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, well, first, it's, you know, it's it's, it's degrading. <laughs> and second of all, it's, a, you know, a little embarrassing. Yeah, because we but we all have our susceptibilities. And I think it's funny. You never would think that you would do something like this and, and then it happens. And that's why you decided to come on, Kathy. Yes. <laughs> because, so tell people what kind of how this started. It started, um, he friended me and because he was so good looking, <laughs> <laughs> I friended him back <laughs> and knowing that he lived in California, but you know, so something innocent. And we talked for, for just a little bit back and forth and we exchanged phone numbers and we started to text. Um, it went a little slow in the beginning. He deleted his account off a of match. And I think I reached, I think I reached out to him actually the next day. I don't think I told my children that, but I did. And yeah, that's going. when it, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure he, I'm sure he probably would have, but regardless, he, the first thing he said to me, um, he introduced himself. He was from Norway when he was 19 years old, his parents were murdered by their brother to steal his property. And his uncle grabbed him and moved him to the States. He ended up in California. He got married and he has a 16 year old daughter, but five years ago, he um, left for work, forgot something, went back and found his best friend. And the word he used was in our matrimonial bed. <laughs> and he said he ran out. She chased him, got hit by a drunk driver and was killed. And I blame her for making me widowed and making Natasha motherless. So and I'm going to put me here because I'm going to show you some pictures. So 
here's the guy, he, here's the pictures that he used of me, which is so funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are old pictures. And then here's you guys, here's yeah. how, here's how devious they are. So he even makes yep. up a California driver's license. Got that one. One of my pictures on there. So it looks real. Then he has a business. This is like mm -hmm. for his work um, where he puts his name and everything on there in my picture. Mm -hmm. Then the guy goes back and that's me like in my 20s. Got that one too. Um, and I got all these from your daughter. So I know these. are. The oh, ones. oh, I'm sorry. Okay. This is like my high school graduation picture. Yep. <laughs> so and cute. then he popped this one on there like that. Yep. So, yep. so what Heather, what, when your mom started coming to you and saying, so what, what were, what were you thinking? So I heard both of those stories and I was like, mom, and no, like those just sound too weird, too bizarre. And I was like, listen, this guy also lives in California. You live here. If he sticks around, I'll hear about it. You know, like if he sticks around for a month, I'll hear about it. But in the meantime, I don't. So I actually left it alone. I didn't get involved until I talked to my sister which we talk almost every day since she's in Washington now. And she mm -hmm. was like, Oh, did you talk to mom about that guy? And I was like, no, because I don't want to hear about that guy. <laughs> and she was like, she's well, um, mom is like, he's coming out next weekend. She wants to move to California by the end of the year. And I was like, no. Okay. Now tell me what's going on. And then my sister, you know, sent me the pictures and, that's when I was like, I think we need to do a little more research here. Mm -hmm. And she actually sent us a picture of phone numbers of his supposed house and cell phone number. So I said, you know, Steph, I think we really need to start there and the pictures too. And, you know, mm -hmm. let's Google search, you know, let's do been verified. Let's do Spokio. Mm -hmm. We, for two days, we were consumed by this of trying to catch this guy. Um, and nothing came back on your pictures, which was so interesting. Like you yeah. did not pop up at all on Google, which we huh. were so bummed. Yeah. I thought we were going to like really find it right away with the pictures. But that's not even how we found out it was you. Um, the phone numbers came back as landlines, both of them, which we know if a cell phone is a landline, it's just through a texting app. So I was like, mom, yeah. that's already weird you know like that doesn't make any sense so um we then were looking more at like the lanyard picture and the mm -hmm. driver's license mm -hmm. so we realized the driver's license which is funny that you say all these pictures are you because they don't really look like you yeah like no. i i don't really okay. think that too yeah. um but if you look at the the signature on it that's barack obama's signature it is if you also look at the okay. last name and the first name, it's Flip. Yeah. He claimed his name was Thomas Mueller. So, and the start of that address was also his business address. Yeah. So there were so many red flags with that already that we were like, mom, like, I'm, I'm really sorry. Like, this guy is lying. This isn't real. You know, like, we're so sorry. And, you know, we... Tr we tried to get him to explain. Um, he had no real answer. He couldn't give my mom any sort of explanation besides it was his signature. He swore it was his. Not he did. Barack Obama. Yes. Um, and then my sister kind of like blew up her. They got into a merged call and my sister muted herself to see if this was an actual like Norwegian yeah. accent too. Which she called me and was like, oh, yeah, the guy does not sound Norwegian or Scandinavian at all. Like, I don't know what's the accent, but it's not that. Mm -hmm. And then she, like, blew up his spot about the driver's license. And he ended up just hanging up. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Got so I was like, Kathy, did you ever talk to him after that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It took us oh, yeah. two whole days to convince us that well, this, like. What what yeah. convinced me okay. was so hold on hold on Kathy sure. tell me okay. just sure. a second and tell me what convinced you I'm going to run some of my ads hang on just a second okay to answer here before the fall rush sets in now is the time to get in to see the dentist Oregon's best dentist and still my dentist is Dr. Michael Bratlin at Chris Dental in Eugene Dr. Bratlin and his staff are second to none you have a tooth you need crowned give them a call and they'll get you in ASAP remember at Chris Dental Everyone is welcome, vaccinated or not. Compton with uh, Compton Family Wines, uh, Falumbeth, Oregon. We're at our state vineyard 
Uh, right now we're working on the Pinot Blanc. Uh, we're in the middle of summer pruning right now, so the grapevines are growing. Uh, we had a, the spring was very wet, a lot of moisture in the ground, so the vines are going to be very vegetative this year. So we're conquering all that vegetation, vegetative growth that they want to have this year to focus on the fruit, which is down here. So we had fruit, uh, we had bloom uh, in early July, and which is rather late for us. That's about two weeks later than normal. And then, but right now you can see we have good fruit set. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of leaf pulling too. But we'll pull leaves and open up the fruit zone. And it's not so much that we're trying to get sunlight on it, but we're trying to keep it the good airflow going. So you two, if you want some good wine, you can go online and they'll send it to you. It's out of Oregon. Cool. Oregon has the best wine. Nice. Okay. And it's, uh, you'll save $15 on the first two bottles if you just mention Rick Dancer. You have to mention the real yeah. Rick Dancer, though. Okay, yes. I promise. <laughs> not the that, cat fisher. Yeah. Thomas Unfortunately, Mueller, I don't have any they, more they won't respond pictures. to Thomas Mueller whatsoever. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Well, right. Kathy, even after you see Obama signature on this license, and I'm not picking on you, but I'm just saying you still, wh wh why? I, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, Cause you wanted it to be true. I want, yes. Number one, I wanted it to be true. And I hadn't had a date in four years since before the pandemic. Um, and before that, I was in I was in two long-term relationships, one with my children's father and then one with someone else for 16 years that wow. I thought was my soulmate, my forever. And he became um, mentally ill pretty much towards the end, manic, bipolar. And it just, it ended horribly. So, um, so I was coming off of that. And then through all that, my parents had passed away. I mean, it just, it was very difficult. It was very difficult. It's a very difficult time. So I took and a did, lot of. Did he know that? No, no, we hadn't gotten that far in talking. What trauma did you share? I only with knew him, him not even three weeks. No, but you did share some things with him. Like you, you told me that you bonded on a lot of trauma. So what, well, like, what did you yes. share with him? He, yes, he did know that um, the last time that this man was in my home was when he physically attacked me. Um, I still have pain. And, you know, so with that and the tragedy that he went through along with a not so great marriage and not so great childhood with um, my father. Um, you know, my father, the man in my life that's supposed to teach me these things. Yeah. And um, so, so how do you, um, how do you feel now? Defeated. Um, at first it consumed my mind for an entire day. I dreamed about him the night before the, the catfish website came through. I've my never sister ended up finding this. I've never dreamed you. about anyone that I know. And I dreamed about him, that he was with me. Um, and then at four o'clock in the morning, my phone went off and I, and I, it woke me up cause I wasn't sleeping well. Anyway, and um, the catfish website came through. So then I knew. But anyway. Um, and then what I hear, what I hear from other um, people who've been catfish, women and, and men, um, then it's, it's, and I don't think people understand this, but you, you're already, it's like a breakup and you've <laughs> not really met the real person, but you've, fallen for this person that is an image. So, so despite how people understand that, were you embarrassed about that? Um, not in front of my family and loved ones. No, but I thought a few times of certain instances where we were on the phone and I'm picturing this group of men sitting around this computer laughing at me because I'm talking this way or I'm acting this way or something like that. 
and and that's after you found out because while you're in this thing you're falling right. in love with this dude. Oh yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden you find and you're like, oh my god, they're probably all just, you know, going, oh yeah, you're doing really good with her. Yeah. And that's that uh -huh. Kathy yeah. lady and and all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like, I mean, I don't know. I think it is like the the lowest form of it, it's a form to me. It's a form of abuse. I mean, absolutely. And it's a business. It's absolutely. a straight up business. These guys yeah. treat it like one, you yeah. know, they Her work job. in shifts. They, you know, this is what they do to make a living. So my sister, I do want to give a really good shout out to socialcatfish.com because that's how we found you. Um, she, my sister did a really deep Reddit hole and ended up finding like stories that sounded really similar to my mom's and people were like yeah go on socialcatfish.com you should be able to you know really nail this person down so she put in some of your pictures and a ton of site like a site about something with you um in this lake there was an article that came out with you and then that was that article i sent you on instagram about like the civil engineer that was about you um, and then we ended up finding that the person was using Rick Dancer's photo. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to Google Rick Dancer. And you popped up on everything. So I was <laughs> like, OK, finally, we found the actual person in the pictures. Um, and then that was really like the nail on the coffin, you know, with like, yeah, mom, you're not talking to him. I'm, you know, we're really sorry. What always kind of surprises me is that you pick but they pick somebody who is pretty well known in a certain part of the country. I mean, my right. face is, yeah. once you right. find You're it, but I'm also shocked. Shocked. I'm yeah. shocked that you could, because yeah. most people tell me they reverse search my picture and they find it on Google, but you couldn't find it. I couldn't Google. find you on Google at all. No, That's it funny. did nothing. Like your Facebook didn't pop up. Your in nothing popped up. That's why I was like, how are we at a deep end with that you know See, and then once scary. i found like the real you i was like why did nothing pop up because you're right. everywhere on the internet you that's know scary to me that they can hide yeah. it that well yes because it used to be that i just you know people would just say oh they they google searched it but i wonder yeah. how many other and found you really searched. fast yeah okay so look, i have one more ad hold on and then i want to come back sure. and ask you another question here. okay and joining us is john and peggy Devereaux. um yeah they are, they are part of the albert taylor gang <laughs> yes <laughs> how long have you guys been with albert taylor peggy oh, oh, oh i can't remember i can't remember either since the early 80s in the 80s we, the 80s, so in we couldn't do anything without josh well you could do a lot of stuff. yeah yeah but josh takes us uh to wendy's thrift shopping grocery shopping you know i mean and honestly uh they they see the best in people, you know, and um, and people tend to see the best in them. You know, they're honestly some of the most accepting and friendly people that I know. Right. So if you're looking for a work or a new career. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was on. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, that's no, this is this is really low key. This is like okay, how we, good. <laughs> people like it. it's called get real. We don't do yeah. anything fake. fake. I don't want to wear you, my glasses, but I need to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your glasses. Um, I got my contacts in. We're all good. <laughs> um, so, and you guys, if you are looking for a career change or something you to do um, that will truly make you feel better at the end of the day, you'll be beat. You'll be tired. Yeah. Um, but working with people at Albert Taylor um, is a, a revelation, and you will learn more about yourself. Um, they are the teachers, and you are the pupil, um, and you get paid to be a pupil. Okay. Oh, anyway, back to our story. So this is Kathy and Heather. Heather's the daughter. Kathy's the mom. Um, Kathy was uh, catfished by someone using my pictures. Um, so what, Heather, let's start with you. What, what advice do you give to people um, out there, um, especially women? But I mean, anybody. Um, I, I think kids could get catfished. Into, into oh, yeah. Doing, oh, know? yeah. Men get, you know, women. Men, I've gotten catfished before. Men definitely get catfished, too. <laughs> they do. You know, I've heard it. If things sound too weird, feel too weird, you can't get them on the phone, they live really far away, you know, your red flags yeah. start going up, it's something's going on. Yeah. You know, online dating is a really, really scary. The internet alone is a scary place. Uh -huh. And then we're going to throw online dating on top of that, where mm -hmm. I could go and create 10 fake profiles of 10 different people and talk to a million different people if I wanted. You know, so online dating is just so scary to begin mm -hmm. with. 
you know, and the free sites, oy, if you're going to do it, at least go on match, go on the ones that you really have to pay for mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. work with a coach. There's a lot of dating coaches out there. I own a small local business in New Jersey and one of my clients worked with one and she paid for, she paid like $5,000 for like five dates and ended up with this guy for a couple years. And it was an interesting experience for sure. Um, so I would say if anything, start going down that route before you're going to jump into online dating. It's just so scary out there. And yeah. like you said, you don't think it's going to happen to you until it does. Right. And I think what people do, just from all the people that, the, that I've talked with, um, you, you know, th th I had one woman and she said, you know, the, one of the things you need to be aware of is there's a nude picture of you online. I'm like, Ooh. Oh. So he oh, had dropped, no. dropped my face. Oh, your face. <gasps> and it was. Like, I didn't get that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking and going, oh, my gosh, no. And, wow. Oh, and and then you could, but, but here's the other thing. And Kathy, this is not a hit on you at all, but <laughs> look for the little things. Cause he hit the picture. It was so obvious. If you could get past the, the lie that it didn't match that the head, yeah. you know, the, the neck stuck out like this much more. And I'm looking at it going that it, there's no way. And, and then they just, they, you know, the, the deeper they take you in and Kathy, you're lucky you have, excellent daughters and you also have a, some discernment. and their friends yeah yeah, yeah. And friends working on this because i think that 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 these are experts that are just, they get you, they keep going and going to get you to forget the little things because one lady said after Rick, you after justify I, it you justify well, it in your mind right oh and with she, a bad picture he had a bad day and she talked to the guy and he it's obvious he had broken english and was had a nigerian accent and he looks like me <laughs> you know I mean, so Kathy, what t talk to me a little bit about that susceptibility. So you, you know, because if you're in a place where you're lonely and you're really looking that that is it, that's something you got to be careful of. Well, yeah. Um, of course he didn't, he didn't know any of that, but he, he started this rhetoric with a lot of, um, you know, I'm so glad I found you. I'm falling for you. Um, don't break my heart. It's been broken before. And I would get these text messages every morning that were really long. As a matter of fact, one had this little arrow at the bottom that I've never seen. And I, and I clicked on it. And this whole huge text message showed up on my phone, professing all these feelings and, and about, you know, the world and sunshine and, you know, right. and oh, I, can't, I can't believe I fell for it, but I did. I did. I wanted to believe it. Um, he was retiring next year. He said he could move out here with his daughter or we can move someplace else. You know, do you think your children would like me? Um, we wanted to believe I, it. I, I couldn't, we I couldn't really did. imagine we did. that somebody would capitalize on something so horrific mm -hmm. it just never entered my mind that somebody would say those things i mean i knew about the money thing and the you know i've had friends that that happened to you know trying to get money from from them um it never it never even went that far but He's going to <laughs> I'm sure it was. Oh, I'm sure he was, was gonna. He was supposed to come out this upcoming he, weekend. He actually. He, how did they? I wonder how that would happen. So would I. Really this is what I think was going to happen. So he was going to come out next Friday, but I kept asking my mom. I said, "Well, where's the confirmation email for the flight? Where's the confirmation email for the hotel? Like, you yeah. need those. You need that first before you're driving to the airport to pick this man up. And what I think was going to happen is he was going to wait until like. Wednesday and say like, Hey, I tried buying the ticket and my credit card didn't work or I get paid on Friday and I don't have enough money. You know, can you send me the money so I can buy the ticket? Yeah. And I think my mom would have because she really wanted to meet you. And you know, then that money would have been gone. It would have been through like Venmo and or then, a wire. And then, he, or something like and then that. he probably would have said, Oh, I missed the flight. And I can't yep. get on another one until next weekend. Yep. Yeah. Or she would have, yeah, yeah, exactly. It would have just kept going. And then don't you away. think at yeah. this point, Kathy and Heather, then you're invested. Yep. So then it's more 
and it's yeah. more and rather than seeing that, that that there's something weird here that it becomes you're and now you're well i already paid 500 dollars for his airline mm -hmm. ticket and i really want to meet this guy so here's 500 more and you know what no no i don't think go, mom that, i don't know no it would have been that mad happens, that you sent the money if that happened to me and i'm still not sure if i would have sent the money i like to think i wouldn't but i'm not sure because i don't have that kind of cash to throw around but if he would have prolonged it i would have insisted on a zoom call because but you didn't you know, know this do? well you Here's didn't know this but do. he he zoomed me before like it completely was over like saturday when all this was going on this back and forth stuff and accusing and the kids and blah 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 and he texted me he said click on the link click on the link i i don't know i was struggling <laughs> And I finally, I got him. He was far away. So I could see him from head to toe. So that's how far away he was. And he cut it off in less than a minute. Yeah. But it looked like it could have been you. Right. Well, I, what they also do, and this is so weird, is um, <clears throat> they take, because I do video, they'll take the videos and then they soup, they they mouth something oh, yeah, else yeah, when yeah. I'm talking. I told you, and Mom, Kathy, that's, yep, you yeah, can manipulate it. Yep. But here's the thing. Oh. The words don't match up. The mouth. I and would have right. noticed that. Right. I would right. Have but then they say, he says, well, the video's lagging. That's what he told yeah. this one woman. Uh, it's yeah. lagging. So like this. And it's like, I mean, because, you know, unless it's live and it's now with video yeah. being like this, yeah. you know, maybe that's one thing we recommend to people. And I'd really like you guys to kind of close this show out by that is okay. let's give them some practical things like what really honest things, you know, like one is if, if, if you can't see and it's not coming through just like this and clear and like that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I don't care where they live. Most people can get then say, go get on the internet where we can have a conversation. I don't believe a Zoom call, you know, and, and start making some demands. Kathy, what would you go mm -hmm. back and say um, to, to other women who are do, falling for this? Like, what, what are the warning signs for you? Well, I would insist on a face to face in the beginning. Um, first of all, for me now, Anybody that's not within 20 miles from me, <laughs> um, you know, goodbye. Um, Good yes. girl. Oddly <laughs> enough, it happened again to me yesterday. Yeah. And I put the guy's picture in the catfish site and it came up everywhere. Wow. Yes. I talked to him for two days on Zeusk. Yeah. Oddly enough. I wasn't sure I was going to say that, but I wanted to just throw that out there. I wish I would have put his picture on before I reached out to him. But anyway, um, I think that's so, a good, I think that's a good first step. Put their picture in that website. Right. Put it in the catfish website. What's it mm -hmm. called? Socialcatfish.com. Okay. Yeah. And then also try to reverse Google check. Cause I know a lot of people found mm -hmm. them yep. that way. Yep. So that's the very mm -hmm. first thing you do gentlemen and ladies, if, if, you're, if, mm -hmm. if you're starting this, go down this road. Um, because you, and then you'll know right off the bat before you get hurt, but see, Kathy, look, you learned and you, yeah, you, I did. you it took you two days, but it wasn't yeah. like you were like invested in this guy. And right. Right. We weren't so going to let yeah. that happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no money yeah. lost. We were. So, yeah. so Kathy, what's it like to have two pit bulls for daughters? <laughs> ah, they're my fiercest, fiercest. Um, they just, fiercely look out for me. Let me put it that well, way. You are very fiercely fortunate. Me, You're so. a very fortunate. I know I am. Boy. And their friends. I need to do a shout out to their friends. Because, yeah, we had three um, girls Liz, that really helped us with this too. Liz and Kristen and who else? And Lindsay. And Lindsay. Lindsay three of yeah. them. You know, one of them found the lanyard um, match. Um, Liz is a computer expert. She the, the website was created last year. No, no, mom. It was created in May of 2022, so just a few months okay. ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was last year, but anyway, it had typos, and it said he told me he started the company, and the first line said something about for over a century, blah 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 blah. Because he copied and pasted it from somewhere and didn't check back it. Back. exactly. And he's probably if he started from the company. He must be yeah. 150 years old. <laughs> yep. 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 So, so, so Heather, what do you suggest people? Um, do be really wary yeah get them on the phone right away mm -hmm. if it doesn't sound right if they don't want to meet right away you know 
do your due diligence before yeah. you really put yourself out there yeah. and make sure men and women that you're both ready to be out there. You know, when you really want to be with somebody, you see past a lot of these red flags and a lot mm -hmm. of these really early on signs, which is why it took my mom so much and two days to really convince her like, mom, this isn't happening. Yeah. Really be ready before you put yourself out there on, you know, online dating and start chatting with, you know, whoever it could be behind the screen. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for um, being super brave and coming on and doing this. Thanks for having us. Cause most yeah, people don't you. get to talk to the people in the pictures. I've been watching catfish for forever and this never happens. So the fact that it did, <laughs> you know, that's like crazy. I did still yeah. apply to catfish and told them we were going to talk to you. So if something yeah. happens of that, that would be cool. You I never would be, know. You know, I would, you know, honestly, just for me, it would be a relief to be able oh to Oh my just, God, to just get to some talk. closure on this. You I know, know. Yeah. even for I, you. I, just, I, I mean, my wife and I show would do some something on this catfishing um, website thing. You know, I really wish they would really like really get it out there. Yeah, because I think now. that it would get the word out that there's um, yeah. and, and I'm not like trying I'm not crying about this. I'm not but that there's there's a lot of victims here. Yeah, I thought it's still happening. You guys, yeah, yes. and then there's there's me, yes. and then there's my wife. Because I was telling right. Kathy this my wife's Kathy. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> be before you came on, I was telling Heather that um she gets emails once in a while from women and they're just screaming at her. How dare you let your husband do this? Cause they think she's in on it. Like we're trying to get money out of people. Oh my God. And I'm she so doesn't pay attention. My wife's super strong. So she doesn't pay attention. She just goes, you know, whatever. But when we yeah, were spending yeah. five yeah. grand a year right. to try right. to stop yeah. these people and then people come on and say, why don't you stop them? I said, I have spent, I bet 15 to $20,000 for four years doing that. And, and then I just realized it wasn't doing anything. And I'm yeah. just not, I can't, I can't spend my life doing that. No, and no, so it's not worth you, it. you know, you're going to have to do your due diligence and, yeah. and figure that out. But I will, you know, anytime yeah. someone is willing to come on like this, um, you know, we reach um, in June, we reached 2.3 million people. So wow. really, oh, that's great. Wow. Hopefully there's people out there that will see that and go, yeah. um, you know, please no. ladies, listen, please. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and, and, you know, and then there's the, it broke your heart and that. It did. That's, yep. but that's, so she's she did. getting over a relationship, you know, with somebody that she doesn't even know who she was talking to. Yeah. You right. know? So it wasn't just the breakup. It was also humiliation. I mean, all the other yeah. things that were yes, with it. Totally. Right? Totally. It was, yeah. it was humiliating. Um, she didn't uh, talk to us. For I a never good day. wanted to do this again. <laughs> um, but you know what I would say? Hurtful. I would hurtful. hate, I would, I would hate to be a catfish in real life and run into the six of you. Right. <laughs> I know. Heather, yeah. Kathy, her three friends. Seriously, yeah, the three friends. Oh, like, yeah. We're going to yeah. get you, I know. <laughs> I, I, I think that's one of those cases where we just don't talk about where the body went. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We I'm, all know, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. a wink and a nod. Yep. Secret to the yeah. grave. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you two, thank you so much for being with us and helping well, us thanks out. For having thanks us. for having us. Really appreciate, we really appreciate it. All right. See you later. So there you go. Um, that's our show for tonight. So listen to what they're saying. I mean, take heed. Understand everything. Probably 90% of what we see on the internet is bullshit. Um, and if you see some good looking woman or some good looking guy who's in charge or wants to, you know, date you or do something like that, go look on the catfish site and find out who it really is because you don't want to get that far into it. And then thank these, this family for have, being brave enough to come on here and do that. So, Hey, and maybe we'll get on the catfish show. Cause you know what? I would love to just tell all these little that go to hell. Cause I am sick of you trying to take me along with you. And, um, because I am not going and um, you've made my life more difficult and you cost me money. And when you take money from me, I get really angry. So anyway, share this on your page so other people see it. Uh, we'll be posting it on our other channels on um, Instagram if they'll let us because they watch everything we do and Facebook and all those other places. So um, tomorrow night, um, I got a guy named Taylor Spike. I found him online. And he just happens to be from Springfield, Oregon. And this guy, this dude is like, he's like an ultra runner. And yet he has this beard and I'm not making fun of him. I, I envy this guy's beard. He has this big beard. He looks like a hippie um, and he's an ultra marathon and he's kind of a big deal. And then I went searching on his website and I found out his brother's like Cameron Haynes. 
um, also from Springfield, but a super big deal in the world of hunting and um, and, and and authoring. So um, anyway, he's he's going to be on tomorrow with our Elements of a Healthy Life. On Thursday, on Wednesday, a girl named Callie Botterfer. Um, I did an interview with her 12 years ago when she had just uh, been in an accident. She skipped school, uh, went with her friend or boyfriend at the time, Brandon. Uh, they were driving and Brandon got in an accident and died. And Callie felt horrible about that. So we did a story about Brandon and her. Well, I saw her online and she has three kids. Here's the great part. I went back and looked at the interview and all the things she said were about who she wanted to be. And that's who she became. <laughs> and she doesn't know that I have the video. I mean that, that I'm going to play these little clips and then she's going to stand there and listen to herself and realize that she became the person she wanted to be. I love that. And then on Thursday, um, Tim Stark will be here. Bill London will be here. And also uh, Bait and Tackle Rob down on the Oregon coast. So that's always going to be a humorous show. So um, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, same time, Oregon, uh, 6 o'clock, Montana, and wherever else you live. You figure it out for yourself.